You have 10 days to decide the fate of this great nation. Think long and hard. Your destiny depends on your choice. Whether you like President Donald Trump or Joe Biden doesn't matter. If you think it's time to hire a person for the Oval Office who has done nothing in Washington for 47 years, who cannot point to one domestic or foreign policy success, if you think a man mentored by a segregationist who opposed busing, the one who wrote the law that literally put a generation of young African Americans he called predators in prison with financial incentives to keep them behind bars, even proud of it, saying he liked the idea of keeping them in jail longer, yet had the opportunity over and over again in the next quarter century to do something about it but did nothing, not even condemn it, even when he was a heartbeat away from the first black president and black attorney general who could have done something about it. If you think a man as fraudulent as this one, who plagiarized his way through college and his career, lying about simple things like scholarships, class standing, and still, in 1987, running for president, uses a campaign stump speech stolen from a famous writer over and over again. If you think a man who is on both sides of an issue, either because he's too dumb to comprehend an issue, or so clueless he forgot what he said before, or simply has no moral core and will say and do anything to win. If you think a man who remains silent for 100 days as American cities, neighborhoods, and businesses are destroyed in the name of social justice by so-called woke warriors who act out their alleged cry for justice by destroying, looting, and burning businesses of fellow Americans of all colors, whose life savings and dreams are in those businesses shattered by the hateful, divisive, angry, intolerant, confrontational, illegal acts of these anarchists. If you think it's time we put someone in the Oval Office who believes that everything about America is dark, dreary, and depressing in the past, the present, and the future, and who wants to educate our children that doctrine, a man who seems afraid of his own shadow. If you want a woman a heartbeat away from that guy, who's a socialist, leftist, police-hating, criminal-loving candidate who speaks of the Harris administration, while presidential candidate Biden is so out of it that even he talks of the Harris administration, you have to ask yourself, does he even know what's in store for him? Or is he truly the Trojan horse whose occupants will turn this nation into a socialist one. If you think we need someone in the Oval who thinks the answer to America's coronavirus and economic problems is to shut down again, while the airline industry barely hangs at 15% capacity, the movie theater industry on the precipice of bankruptcy, travel and hotel industry about to collapse, well-known well stores restructuring and teetering on bankruptcy. This guy's answer to the problems is to put up plexiglass. Plexiglass? Where? The restaurants aren't even open. And as for the virus itself, platitudes are great but he's offered nothing, nothing that is different from the sitting president other than being months late to the game. If you think we need someone in the Oval who doesn't have the stamina, who is too frail, too weak, who hides in the basement and doesn't have the wherewithal to campaign for dog catcher, let alone the highest office in the land who can't even come out of his basement to join an ex-president who's campaigning for him, and who has a look of aimless and directionless behavior. If you think we need someone in the Oval whose family is like pigs at the trough, Hunter, James, Patrick, collecting millions with a piece of the action going to the big guy, who then parlays our foreign policy to match their corrupt financial goals, whose son runs around the world with a vacuum sucking up millions from communist China, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and more, whose family has no problem doing deals with the Chinese Communist Party companies while the big guy is in office, then, folks, Joe Biden is your guy. 
Folks, the only corruption in the Ukraine was Joe Biden leveraging American foreign policy, using our money to get a president in Ukraine to fire the prosecutor investigating his son's company. That's corruption. And Biden is such a harebrained fool, he both corroborates and admits the scheme. Now, I don't know about you. But I want a president who respects our American history and expects American citizens to respect the law, who doesn't glorify abortion, and who fights every day for us, who believes that allowing a baby to die after birth is infanticide. I want a president who's proud of the police, the military, and working Americans, who believes all children of all races and creeds deserve the opportunity to have an education that's not steeped in union dogma and hate for America. I want a president who's going to draw a line in the sand and fire back when they cross it. A president who does a namby-pamby with those who hold our hostages and who takes the fight to get them back and gets them back. A man who doesn't give a damn about the color of your skin and proved it with more jobs and people to fill them. A man who believes that crimes have consequences and the rules are to be followed. Who believes in the Constitution, the right of free speech, not limited by this hogwash political correctness, who believes in religious freedom, who refuses to allow churches to be shut down, who believes we have a constitutional right to practice our religion and go to houses of worship, yes, even during a pandemic, who believes in one nation under God, a man who made me proud to say Merry Christmas, yes, even at a decibel higher. There's only one man. One person who has stood fast against the incredible onslaught of attacks, insults, and lies. A man with the uncommon stamina, energy, and perseverance to fight the dark forces that seek to tear down mankind's greatest experiment in freedom. A man who brings truth, light, and transparency to a nation clouded in darkness and chaos. A man who never wavers in his determination to make America proud, strong, and yes, great again. And that man is the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. You have 10 days. And that's my open. Let me know what you think on my Facebook and Twitter, hashtag Judge Janine.